this is enlisted we're on xbox series x and this is a rather interesting take on the shooter genre in regards to being a world war ii type of shooter experience so this is a next gen only sort of setup and basically what it is is you're in a squad like you have your own squad when you die you kind of swap between your own squad and then you have different squads once your squad's wiped out it's kind of fascinating you're basically it's a multiplayer focused game like i mentioned you're battling for these you know different positions along the map you're kind of semi controlling your squad and yeah it's, it's very neat so we're getting a, a native 4k resolution with hdr support at 60 fps so it plays really smoothly and it looks really good and yeah it's kind of fascinating again being something that is a bit uh, competitive in nature and featuring some authentic looking weapons and this will eventually be a, a free-to-play experience so at the current time this is one of those kind of pay to see it while it's being made and developed sort of games or pay to support it sort of experiences and then uh, eventually you know you'll be able to uh, see the full release of it as a free-to-play you see all the players here so it's, it's really quite neat because that means that uh, essentially uh, if you want to switch to that, I want it to reload. Switch to MP41. So essentially, like each of these individual players have like their own squads of individuals and stuff. It's it's quite, again, very very fascinating, as you're trying to take these posts and and push forward. And you know you get things like tanks and stuff. Like I get in that tank. I think somebody else is running it. But yeah, and it just kind of creates this large sort of warfare experience where there's just like tons of like bodies going around doing different stuff so i died so i can switch over to um, another one of my individuals he's kind of injured well not too badly but you can put like a med kit on it's just it's very very neat i, I quite like it. it it's kind of a cool sort of change up for this this genre which is neat it, it does obviously you know being a game preview game it's, it's going to change a bit over time and it, it definitely has you know some work that needs to be done in regards to some of the like i guess pathing and stuff like that but it's kind of just nuts seeing all of the different i don't know what you can say like characters and stuff kind of flopping around and that it's it's very very neat oh, i'm losing health again that's not good I gotta use up my med kits only got so many of those yeah but like i was saying it's a very interesting sort of take on it because i think this could be a lot of fun and it seems to be really a, a next-gen only focused experience just in terms of like the, the visual quality because I, I think the visuals look really really good here they, they truly do um, like they're impressive and then on top of that you know you've got all these like individuals roaming around battling it's really cool <laughs> and not something I had really expected because I've been trying to do like bits and pieces of trying this one out the tutorial is a bit weird quite honestly it doesn't really tell you what you're doing but uh, you just capture a command post with your squad and then you're done so yeah hopefully that well I guess that's all you really need to know but yeah it's just kind of odd oh geez got absolutely blown away there oh bleeding out yeah you could get revived or you could die so you see my like first squad is kind of dead they're not ready yet so I switch over to this this other one here and we just like spawn in and we're good to kind of battle and stuff like that it's it's very interesting, you know, get all these different authentic weapons. I guess there's hundreds of different weapons. There's ground vehicles, aircraft type, uh, real models. Because it's from, um, what is it, Gaijin? And they're very specific in regards to their, you know, just sort of their war type properties. They do a lot of free to play war type things. I think it's at least published by them or something like that. Anyways, how? I think that's a neat thing to kind of keep in mind, you know, 10 plus distinctive squads, you know, we got assaults, uh, sniper ones, heavy guns, mortars, engineers, radio specialists, so there's like a lot of variety, and then there's certain like leveling and everything too, but most of that doesn't seem to quite be present within the game yet. <laughs> like how they're just storming out of the window. <laughs> that's hilarious, but yeah, a lot of the the menu type things don't seem to fully be realized yet because again you know it's, it's game preview it's, it's being worked on so there's going to be development over time and i think they mostly got the the core kind of gameplay ready and then all the more 
intensive sort of mechanics and stuff for changing up your troops is going to be something that um, comes a little bit after, which is fine. Because I mean, at, at like a basic gameplay level, I find this to be you know, a bit of a, a fascinating different type of shooter. I think is the big thing. Is that guy's like reviving? Yeah, he was trying to revive himself. Because it's just, uh, you know, neat, the different weapons, the, the squad style of play. Because I was like, why, why do I have a squad? And I was trying out, like, you know, the tutorial levels. And then I got into the multiplayer, and I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's very interesting, you know. You just got, like, a lot of uh, players going around doing stuff. Maybe we'll try with the scope? Yeah, that might be fun. But yeah, you'll, you'll be able to fight in, like, all these different campaigns that capture certain eras and you know, based around, like, in that World War period, so it's kind of, yeah, I'm, I'm genuinely intrigued about what they're fully going to, to do with this sort of thing, I think there's a lot of potential with this concept, especially if they, you know, play around with it a bit more, it's got some cool, uh, visual elements and stuff that are going with it, uh, as well, and then, you know, different types of environmental setups, it's just, it's, it's definitely captured my attention, I guess, is, is the big thing to say when I'm playing this, because we don't have many, I guess you could say, truly sort of next-gen types of experiences, and I think this one kind of hits the mark as maybe being, like, the only one that I'm really thinking of on the platform off the top of my head, but, uh, yeah, it's kind of exciting, <laughs> especially with the, like the whole optimization and everything like that. Well, I guess it have to be if it's on this platform. Well, I mean, maybe not everything will be, but you, you get the gist of what I'm saying. Ooh, I'm dead, but then you just like swap over to another perspective, and yeah, and then we've got like this sort of well, the positions where we're pushing, right? So we're sort of, I guess you could say, going, I don't know, back and forth, but you're you're definitely pushing a line as you're trying to get more real estate, more. Uh, terrain and stuff, and I, I like those kinds of modes where you get a little bit of, I don't know if you could call it momentum going back and forth, but that's always intrigued me. So we just got all these squads and all these different players, it's it's kind of wild. I mean, like, look at that, and they're all really detailed character models, and the environments look really good, I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of surprisingly blown away by this, because I, I didn't think of, like, oh, another World War shooter, oh no. And then you get in here and you're like, oh, okay, you're trying something a little bit different. And that always just really captures my attention right away. And I mean, the long run of the game is going to be like the most important part, handling all these different players. And that's where I, again, kind of mentioning that the pathing maybe needs to be adjusted a bit more because there's just so many like characters in like one area. It's kind of nuts, right? Like, <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot. And it'd be cool if they maybe more like spread out if that makes sense like i know we to a degree i kind of like you know sort of control my little squad and i like, push them forward but you, you get what i'm saying well I, like, I think i only got one guy alive but you get what i'm saying in regards to just like there could be a ton of players in like one spot and it gets nuts i also like the interactivity too i think that's kind of cool Ugh. taste the grenade yeah, got a nice grenade kill there. It's a little snappy with the guns too, I guess, in regards to hitting people, but uh, it makes sense for the fast-paced action that's going on here. But just like, this is an interesting taste of, of I guess you could say, next-gen multiplayer, just due to how many, even like not just players, but like AI and everything on there too, just kind of going at it at once is kind of uh, fascinating. These large-scale maps too, it's very intriguing. <laughs> I keep saying that, but I. I I genuinely am kind of curious about the tech here, because it's all playing, you know, very well. In terms of how it's running, like, I, I'm not really facing any sorts of performance issues or anything like that. And I, I'm finding it to be kind of fun to play, and you know, a little bit nuts, and I just love all the zany sorts of action that's, that's going on here. It's a lot of enemies, there, you know, there's... There's a, a lot of people to be blasting. Oh, I guess you, you stayed up here. That's, that's good to listen to the direction. Although I probably could have used a bit more support down there. Hello, folks. Yeah, you know, you get your grenades depending on your class and everything. It's kind of fascinating. Hmm. And we're having a hard time, I guess you could say, taking this last post. There we go, got that guy, got that guy. I keep coming in here. 
<laughs> there's so many people they're just like on top of each other victory yeah that's what we're talking about gotta get those clouds flowing over to okay we joined another match here where we seem to be like kind of pushing the different objective spots again you know it's just kind of a really lovely like environmental type of design I'm, I'm really impressed with it it just seems to render quite well for the most part i've noticed like slight pop in things but it just seems to really hold steady and close which is fantastic let's get in here so this is the beginning so that there's not full squads yet people are loading in so it kind of progressively gets more and more mobbed which is kind of nuts but now let's take this location actually maybe we should take like this side here get in team let's let's hold this down we got we got the B right here yeah it's just really having a blast with this marking enemies they've, they've currently got all these little like technical details down and I like how I've commanded my squad to kind of chill out and they've all taken a little, little nice position right there as has the enemy team I think we clean them up pretty nicely Did we lose somebody coming from the outside there. Oh no, the whole squad's still alive and I got a grenade kill right on. So many different players and stuff like that. Yeah, this is this is wild. I wonder if we're gonna see similar type large scale shooters like this. Even bigger than what we've seen in the past. That's exciting. Hmm, so we've got kind of B held down. I don't know if I want to bring my squad with me or just kind of have them hang out there because this is like a really like they're a unit just holding this down because that's neat because you could set your guys there and I could go and like flank around on an enemy team or something like that right or go off and do my thing and they're still gonna hold that down this is very interesting and you can get like a lot of kills in this too which is kind of nuts Everybody dies really easily, right? <gasps> Let's get that revive going on here. I also like when you kind of get down and you've got to get yourself up or something like that if you got a med pack and that. So it's kind of neat. Let's see what we're dealing with. It also seems sort of grounded, too, I guess. You know, just in terms of the weapons and the damage and all that. Ugh. Looks like I got clunked. Is the rest of my squad not around still? That's a little disheartening. Should we do... Yeah, we'll get the car going on there. To battle! And then you just, like, all these different players, kind of, their factions and stuff like that. It's kind of... It's, it's truly distinct. But anyways, I, I just want to really get across that I kind of am liking what I've been playing of it thus far, and I'm going to be watching it kind of closely as it develops and changes over time. Because I think it presents like a really gorgeous sort of world. I don't know if we have any sort of... It doesn't look like there's any player type into... Uh, maybe like a... Uh, it doesn't seem to really like get into the surface at all of it, but... It's still neat. Anyone else you want to shoot at? Like, for a free-to-play game, like, eventually free-to-play, the level detail within the environment and stuff like that kind of fascinates me. Is this going to be sort of, like, the standard for even free-to-play games next-gen? Is this kind of level of fidelity? I think that's going to be quite a change-up from what we're used to. Kind of sets a bit of a standard for what to expect. That's a teammate. My bad. Uh, I guess take this spot here, guys. Assuming my squad's still around. Are they fighting people? No, I think they I think they're engaged. No! No, Jeff! Oh, oh, Jeff. Unbelievable. Can't believe that's the case here. Should've picked, like, a sniper class. I'm having a hard time hitting that guy. Everybody's fallen down. I'm gonna have to tread back and 
group up with this squad again. You know, there's so many different, like, players just roaming around. I'd like to get some more madness. Oh, jeez, yeah, we got a bit of a rush here. I'm gonna support these guys a little bit. Although we should be sitting here in the stables, kind of getting this uh, position taken, if I'm not mistaken. But looks like we're going for a bit of a charge, which is exciting. Everybody rushing inwards. Sort of a rifle battle from a distance. I wonder if this was kind of what war was like, just this frantic sort of quick moving, battling in squads. This is cool. Let's get ready to go back into the battle. All this chaos going on. Like, look at all the little dots for all the different, like, positions and stuff like that. It's very cool. I quite like it. <laughs> quite like it a lot. The reflections are interesting as well. Hmm. Through the trenches. It seems to have, like, some slight variations in the modes. You know, we went from doing sort of, uh positional push to something that's more like a domination type of positioning mode, I guess. Is that a bad guy? No, oh, that's a teammate. Let's take the barn, folks. Hopefully my team doesn't get, or my squad doesn't get, like, locked up in another battle or something. Don't want them all dying again on me. It's tragic to see my team fall down so fast. Yeah, looks like we took the barn. And there's also a sense of, like, uh, I guess country, too, you know, kind of the, the allies, the axis, you kind of pick and choose, I guess, your forces. It's for the German squad, and, yeah. Very interesting depth is in the environment, I like how I flew up there. And even like the cloth movement on the characters I find kind of interesting. You see that on the arm there. The fact that my uh, kind of sleeve is moving when I kind of move, I think that's kind of neat too. All these like little intricate small details that I'm not used to really seeing in this type of game. Hmm. Anybody else want to get blasted away? I'm gonna run out of bullets. That's gonna take a while to get down there. Whoa! Did you see that kind of explosion and the cart falling apart? That's damn cool. Huh. I don't know if I'll actually get my revive or not on this one. Otherwise I'll... Oh, I'm dead dead. That's, that's disheartening, but at least we get the MP44 back get the respawn here. This this feels like a very back and forth sort of battle, if you get what I mean. Although they are pulling ahead a bit, I, I thought we had a real good early advantage on them. I think the issue is that uh, we have 30 or 40 units just in one confined spot over there. <laughs> not spreading out. And not capturing the positions that they're over. Like, we should have B on lock at this point. It's really weird that we don't. Take the space. Yeah, I actually like the idea of having like a little AI squad that you could kind of command and they're, they're doing their own thing and you're battling here. I know the multiplayer wasn't too popular, but it kind of reminds me a little bit of the disintegration game. That's that's the multiplayer that wasn't too popular, but they actually took it out of the game and just left the campaign. But uh, that one, you were sort of in a big, like, flying thing. You were controlling little units. I think that was a little bit more in-depth than this one, but, you, you know, in regards to, like, the commanding strategies. Whereas this one, you're more, like, commanding bodies to a degree that you're, like, actively swapping, to, like, between. And that kind of, you know, is a little bit fun of a, a positioning thing. Because that guy dies, and I'm right on to the next one. I'm guessing you could like basically whip through your squad like in seconds. See, they're just dwindling. Oh no, my buddy's both dead at this window. I too should probably stand in the same spot and so maybe get some kills along the way. Am I right? Well, how am I doing? I'm doing pretty well. I mean, I'm fairly commanding in terms of like points and everything like that on the scoreboard. So definitely haven't been having a a bad match, needless to say. How's everyone doing? Let's get a grenade out there. 
see if we can't get some of those kills. See, I think there's a little bit more strategy to this than other people might even think with how they're moving their characters around. Because it really is kind of about holding spots, positioning your squad well for support, uh, eliminating opponents as they're coming, because you can kind of just cut through them like they're cannon fodder or whatever. It's not hard to do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, there's a whole squad. Somebody help me. Somebody take him out. You got this, guys. I need to, like, steal a gun or something. And all the reviving, it's just kind of nuts. And then you see, like, little bits of destruction, too. Which kind of fascinates me to a further degree. Is the fact that the environment's getting uh, cut up a bit. Maybe we should try the... The tank class? I don't know. That might be fun. Ooh. That's pretty cool. We get to drive around in the tank. Okay. Switch around to the different positions. I am controlling the movement. Okay. This doesn't feel like the front, though. There we go. Now we're back here in this big tank. So this should change things up even further as being in the tank squad. So every little roll is going to make a you know, a big change up in how you're battling and what you're sort of doing in these matches. And I'm going a little bit over time than I would normally do just because I want to show off more I guess of the game in action really so you can see and have a better idea of it if you want to see what more of the gameplay is like. Hmm. It's like the numbers are... Uh, the bars are sort of not tipping in our favor, I suppose you could say. Tank time! <laughs> oh, this is cool. Yeah, actually seeing things at the breaking. We knocked this pole down? Oh, we totally can knock that pole down. That's cool. Now yeah, we're just kind of grinding these guys. this steady they're kind of just like running through the fields is asking for it though should move over this positioning but no hmm anybody else want to get blasted away We've almost won. Oh, the enemies have almost won. My bad. I was like, that was surprising because it looks like we're pretty dire straits. <laughs> Just misread it because I'm too busy mulching away these guys. Oh, come on! Gotta get the cannon thingy going so I can just blow these guys up more. Or I guess, I don't know if you call it a cannon, but... It seems a lot less accurate than using the machine gun. Yeah, I'm not really even seeing where that's landing specifically to do damage on people. Uh-oh. Well, it was worth the shot. Pretty cool game.